Hey friends, welcome to the second part. Here we'll learn how Blazor runs in the browser. Even I told you before, it's an experimental framework. It is even not in the first fields. Uh, if you see the release number is mentioned below, 0 0.2.0. So you should, you should not jump into this framework and try building your production app. It will be a disaster. I have already uh, told you how Blazor works. A little bit of a brief idea. So Blazor uh, built on the top of the WebAssembly. WebAssembly is a new specification by which you can run your codes written in C, C++ and rest in your native suite in the browser. The obvious question here will be WebAssembly can uh, support only C, C++ and rest right now. So how .NET runs? Even this question was in front of the Blazor team when they start building and this particular framework. So they have uh, two approaches. The first approach, approach, whatever they have, like whatever the project and runtime, compile everything to a .NET big uh, fat assembly, then uh, uh, assembly and target that particular assembly to WebAssembly format, then download that particular um, fat DLL to the browser and uh, run uh, execute that particular uh, project or assembly. The Second uh, option they have is to convert the .NET runtime uh, to WebAssembly and uh, download all those uh, project specific .NET DLL and load it to the runtime during during the execution of that page. So uh, there are, those are uh, two options they had. So they choose the second option. They converted uh, their .NET runtime in the during hackathon. They used uh, .NET anywhere, but currently in the Blazor uh, is using .NET. Mono, mono runtime so, and this mono runtime is uh, already converted to WebAssembly format so next uh, we'll learn how what are the steps which uh, involved to run a pleasure application I would say these are not all the steps involved here but it, it represents more most of the major parts whatever it is installed for this the first thing will be uh, uh, compiling the uh, compiling of the particular project that means compile all the codes and treasure files whatever you have to .NET DLLs then sanitize those DLLs and remove all those unwanted part so during execution browser will download all those sanitized DLLs along with mono runtime to run the execution uh, run the particular application so what if the browser does not support WebAssembly in that case Blazor has a fallback mechanism by which it will fall back to ASMJS that is another specification by which you can run this native codes in the browser. Blazor even take the advantage of uh, caching, browser caching. So uh, suppose it is the first request to the server and the browser has to download all those runtimes and every project specific DLL. If it is in a, a further request, uh, what will do browser will ca cache uh, and it will uh, in the first request itself browser will catch all those uh, dlls and it will try to pick uh, all those uh, dlls from the cache instead of going to the server so it's a uh, let us see a demo so i have opened a project which is already we have uh, created in the last series so you can go and check in how to create it uh, and uh, here you can uh, it's a blazor hosted on the asp.net code so you can see this is the client and this is a one whatever is it's a PM Blazor application that means a Blazor uh, application. This is ASP.NET application which will host this particular Blazor application. And this is a shared assembly which is used to share some data in between this uh, server and client applications. So let's uh, run it now. So once you will click IIS Express in the top run, uh, run button, it will try to build it and it will open a browser. Open a browser. With uh, that particular web address so if you see uh, this is the developer tool I have opened if you don't know uh, anything about this developer tool just uh, press F12 in your in your uh, keyboard you will find it otherwise you have to go to the option and you have to you can get it from here so currently I have selected two um, uh, two filter that means JS and XSR that means I just wanted to see which are the JS request uh, browser is making to the server or all those Aja access requests. So here, if you see the um, this one, uh, Bootstrap Native .js, it's not uh, related to to a particular Blazor application. It's something uh, different. I will tell you later. 
but if you see the first uh, js file it's a blazor run uh, blazor uh, file if you see the source also framework slash blazor it's a, a framework related js which is used to download all those uh, dlls from uh, to, to bootstrap the um, like to download all those required files to run our application so the next uh, things if you see here this is mono.js and mono.wasm so that's uh, that's the uh, uh, runtime mono runtime web assembly runtime this one is and this particular js file it's a kind of uh, glue between this your dom and your uh, run web assembly then it will try to download uh, our application that is web application 3.client.dll if you see in our solution it's same as uh, this name whatever name we have given it for the blazor application then then it will uh, download all those runtimes whatever is needed to uh, run our application microsoft uh, blazor uh, spinet code blazor Okay, ASP.NET Core, Blazor, uh, dot Browser DLL, and all those runtime DLLs is whatever is needed to execute our Blazor application. Even it will download MS Core DL, uh, .NET Assembly, .NET Core, and .NET Standard. Yeah. Dot, yes, uh, .NET uh, Blazor is targeted to .NET Standard. So uh, you can uh, theoretically you can run this Blazor application in almost all the frameworks. And apart from that, it will run some other DLLs which is required by this particular project. So, friends, uh, for this particular video, uh, this much. In the coming upcoming videos, I will be uh, take you through the steps how to data mine works, how event works, how you can call functions, how you can make HTTP request, and all those steps in one by one. So, if you like this video, click the like button. If you don't like, uh, click the not like uh, video button. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please free and do subscribe to my channel to get all those notifications. Thanks. Uh, thanks for watching. Bye bye for this.